What up, world? It's your boy, Anton, and I'm back. Now, a few days ago, we were talking about this Antonio Brown thing as we thought he was traded to the Buffalo Bills, but it was Knicks. Now, I fell asleep, and I wake up this morning, and guess what? He's finally traded. The drama in Pittsburgh is finally over. It's finally resolved with A.B. and the Pittsburgh still. He has been shipped out to the Oakland Raiders and John Gruden for a third and fifth round pick. Now, I woke up this morning, and I was... I was... I didn't know what to think. I, was, I wasn't I was stunned because I predicted that the, the Raiders would acquire A.B. and I predicted that's where Pittsburgh would send him, and I was right. Now, with him being shipped out to the Oakland Raiders, he receives a new contract as well. Three years with $30.125 million guaranteed and over $50 million total, but he's getting $30 million fully guaranteed, and that's really what he wanted. I think that was the biggest problem in this whole situation. And... Here in the trade, and they're trying to make these trade happen, they were trying to negotiate a new contract, and it was really tough for Pittsburgh. Now where now where I'm a little where I'm a little upset about is the fact that they only got a third and fifth round pick. Now I was hoping, hey, maybe it was maybe it was far wishing for, for me, far fetched, that they would get at least a second round pick or a first round pick, maybe, because the Raiders have three first round picks for the Steelers not to acquire at least a second round pick. It's a little, it's a little questionable for me. Now I can't hate on John Gruden because I think he, he is brilliant. He is brilliant for the way he pulled off this trade. He was able to acquire a first round pick for Amari Cooper. And then he didn't give away practically anything to acquire Antonio Brown. And then the other problem is too that it creates t over twenty one million dollars in dead cap for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I mean, the trade had to happen. I had to move on. We knew it was gonna happen. But like I said at the end of the day, it's bittersweet for me. It's bittersweet for me. Because the Killer B saga is officially over from 2013 to 2017. This duo dominated. And even though they only got to this 2016 AFC Championship game, it was it was just tough because a lot of times the guys were never healthy, fully ready to go together, and we just never got to see what really could have been. So it's bittersweet for me, but I understand. It's, I'm taking it with a grain of salt, like I said. Now, hey, as a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, we are a team in transition. No more Antonio Brown. No more Le'Veon Bell. And now it is fully on the shoulders of Juju Smith-Schuster and James Conner, who had a hell of a season last year before having his ankle sprain. Now I've got faith in this team. I, I've got to trust Kevin Colbert, even though I haven't been a biggest fan of some of the moves and some of the comments he's made. But we all know they're going to give Big Ben a new contract. Hey, what can you do about that? Um, just saying, um, with this draft, the reason I wanted the first round pick because I needed them to load up on defense. Now we got the 20th pick in the draft. Now we need to figure out what we're gonna do with that. We need we need a, a linebacker. Ever since, and I keep saying this, people. Ever since we lost Ryan Shazier, our defense has not been the same, and that just changed the whole mindset of the team defensively. We have not been the same since then. And as you see, we lost a lot of games last year on the defensive side of the ball. With that being said, now hopefully we can go at linebacker or we can go at corner somewhere on the defensive side of the ball. With that third round pick, maybe we can go get a receiver because we're real thin. We got Juju and James. But like I said, it's a team of transition, and it's time to finally start over and move over and make things happen. Now, it's great for Oakland as well, too, because in 2020, they'll be moving to, to Las Vegas. But hey, like I said, this drama is finally over with AB. Hey, man, that's tough for me, but hey, I had to take, like I said, I had to take it with a grain of salt and make it happen. It's finally over. It will be a. A Oakland Raider, and hey, we can move on, make things happen, and still have to talk about this no more. And let's go try to get a championship. Got to build around Big Ben, like I said. But I, hey, love that BY was here. I wish him the best in Oakland. Hey, hopefully we can do well. We can bounce back this year, and it's still a long off season. I'm looking forward to the draft and free agency. And oh, by the way, I'm happy too that we signed Ponce. We need to protect Big Ben. We traded Gilbert for a six round pick. Hey, we'll see who step up at that tackle position. On the right side, man. My team, I love the Pittsburgh deal, like I said, but I need to hop on here, people. Talk about this A-B thing and jump right on it. Give me your reactions about it, what you think. Hey, Pittsburgh Nation, love y'all. Stand up. We got to keep doing what we're doing. And, hey, let's keep moving on. Hey, and NFL fans, I love everybody. Hey, you know what to do. Subscribe, comment below on this box below. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Keeping the Score. It's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.